Can please raise your hand. Jacob, go ahead. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, hi, Veronica and Jordan. Thanks for taking this time to chat with us. Uh, just what can you just initial uh, thoughts on the team's performance today? Um, I mean, I think it's a tough game to go into mentally. I mean, we know our season is kind of over going into it. Um, so I think the team played with a lot of heart today. Um, we were resilient from the first minute to the last. And I think it's not the result we wanted, obviously, but I think it's a good way to end the season for us to kind of continue the momentum into next season. And that's all we can do. I mean, I think we could have come in flat and come in not ready to, to win and not ready to fight for it. And I think we did the complete opposite of that. So I'm, I'm really proud of our team. Um, and I hope that we can kind of go into the off season, recover, recuperate, and be ready to, to start the next season off hot and, and come in with, with the team and the play that we know we can. Thank you for that, Jordan. And speaking of one of the positives from tonight was the team's instant response after conceding that first goal uh, with you uh, claiming that goal. Um, you know, the replay showed, you know, uh, Dickey uh, kicks that ball long, it gets to Z, and then you are just kind of just creeping in into the box pretty much unmarked, and then you go in uh, for the finish. Just kind of uh, what were you seeing throughout, uh, you know, on the field and leading up to uh, your goal? Um, I mean, I think, like, that's a lot of our set plays and ideas of how we build and how we grow. and. I mean, I think it was just getting forward. The team kind of wanted to shift momentum. Obviously, we try to do that. The five minutes after getting scored on is huge, or after scoring is huge. So I think we know that. And we were there to win, there to fight. And we did exactly that. We weren't going to just bend over and, and fall apart when we got scored on. That's never what we do. So yeah, it was just the team showed resi resiliency instantly. And it, it wasn't just me and Z. It was everybody kind of making the pieces kind of come together. So yeah, just proud of us, proud of the response. And, and yeah. Thank you, Jordan. And Veronica, for you, uh, I know you've said uh, many times that you know you're willing to do whatever the team uh, asks asks of you. And this season, you know, you've made the switch to playing right back. Uh, you, you've trained with that a couple of times, and then you know you're getting your first uh, minutes there uh, throughout the course of the season. Just kind of what it's what's been like uh, the experience of playing in that position for you, and just kind of taking a new uh, position uh, under your belt. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm very fortunate that I had Sophia to look up to and to basically emulate my game uh, off of her, and that's what I'm just trying to do. I have a great coaching staff that's trying to teach me the ropes as fast as possible. Um, it did feel like I jumped in the deep end when I'm going up against Kundananji and uh, Alyssa Thompson for my first two games. <laughs> But yeah, no, I feel like I'm getting a better handle of it. And yeah, it, I'll do whatever for the team. I'll play wherever. Just not goalkeeper. Never played hand sports. All right. Thank you very much, you two, for all the time set. You chatted with us throughout the course of this season. Yeah. Thanks, Jacob. Nico, go ahead. <laughs> so, up against a very, like, an insanely strong Orlando Pride in general in 2024. What does it mean to go into this game essentially playing for pride, no pun intended, with the current circumstances, but stay competitive against this really strong, possibly title contender Orlando Pride today? I think that it's the same as when we go up against any other team. This league has parity throughout. And every single game is a grind. And you are going to play incredible players every single game. And this this was no different. Um, yeah, Orlando is excellent, but we can be excellent as well. And I think we just approach this game with we've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And as far as the offseason today, Jordan, how important will this offseason be for you coming back from the string of injuries throughout the year and bouncing back stronger next season? Yeah, I mean, I've said it before. Um, I think it will be huge. I think that with the COVID years and with the national team, um, there hasn't been a lot of break or off season uh, for a lot of the national team players. And I think this coming year, there's no major tournament for us. Um, so I think it's definitely a time to kind of reset, refresh, and kind of look forward to the next season being with Seattle basically the whole time. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for off season. I'm excited to kind of recharge mentally 
and physically and kind of get my 1% back in my locker and, and take on the next season with this incredible team. And, and to talk about the game, Orlando's second goal, it seemed like there was a foul that directly led up to the goal. Uh, could we get the play, your player's perspective from what happened in that moment and what the conversations were with the referee during the review? Honestly, uh, this league, you're you're gonna get calls. You're gonna get no calls. You can't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I need to clear that ball, and it it didn't happen. It was a good. It was not a good enough clearance, and. If I clear it, then it's not even a question of if it was a foul or not. So I, I'm, it's just the league. You're gonna get calls some days, and you're gonna get calls not on some days. So can't depend on it. It's outside of our control. Thank you. Hey, Seiko. Any other questions? Great. Thanks, everyone.